Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Lynn White, mom of five, and today I am bringing you tons of cleaning motivation and some decorating inspiration as well. I am also going to be showing you some creative ways on how to store your household cleaners. So today's video is going to be full of some encouragement, motivation, and tons of inspiration. Before we go too far into the video, I wanted to let you know that today's video is extra special. I am doing today's video with my sweet friend, Brittany. I'm sure you guys already know who she is. She has one channel, Brittany and Baby, and then she's got another one. And this one is so much fun. It's tons of DIYs and cleaning motivation. You guys are going to love it. It is with her husband, Frank, and they are a growing family of soon to be seven. She she is due in the upcoming months and I am so excited to see their family grow. She is one of the most gentle hearted, kind people I have met here on YouTube and I have enjoyed getting to know her these past couple of years. We first met up in Savannah, Georgia and that is when our friendship developed and it has been such a pleasure calling her a friend. She is always there with a encouraging word when I need it and I have just enjoyed her so so much so we have similar content on our channels and I would love for you to go check out her new channel and if you are here from Brittany's channel thank you so much for stopping by it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button before you go any further I've got some giveaways coming up for anyone that is subscribed to my channel so I don't want you guys to miss that I started today's cleaning in the kitchen and while I was doing some of these pots and pans I noticed that there was a lot of baked on grime so I'm gonna give it a good cleaning this has some bacon grease on it we bake our bacon does anybody else do that I feel like it is the best way to make it I cannot go back to frying it. it is so 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 good like this so I'm gonna clean this off very well and then I'm gonna add one of these little SOS Brillo pads and I'm gonna get some of this caked on grime off of here I have been searching high and low for some gloves for my to use while I'm cleaning in the house and I cannot find any anywhere if you guys can comment below if you know where I could order some that would mean so much to me because I have taken off the dip powder on my nails and they are so thin and I do not want to be getting my hands too wet and I've always wanted to wear gloves while cleaning and I just don't think about it but now it's on my mind and I can't find them anywhere so let me know in the comments below if you know where they are selling some kitchen gloves but anyway moving on that was a long rant about gloves I'm going to continue cleaning these pots and pans with this Brillo pad and it is making this job so much easier the stuff comes off so well and i'm glad i'm taking care of this now this is something i need to do every so often so i can make these pans still look pretty nice So I'm not very sure how long I'm supposed to use these little pads here, but after I give my pans, my pots and pans a good cleaning, I will usually throw them away. I have saved it in the past and I feel like it just starts to leak rust and all that. And so it's just for me better off to just toss them. But if you know how long they are good for, let me know in the comments below because I have no clue. To be able to find myself shouldn't be so complicated. If I listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start over new. Yeah, I'm on my way now. 
I'm going to dry all of these pans. They are all clean and they look really, really good. I should have done this probably a year ago if I'm being honest, but you know, there's no time like the present. Let me know how you guys are doing being stuck in home, stuck at home. I am definitely an introvert. I've said that so many times. I decompress at home and that's just who I am. I mean, I can go out, I can have fun. I like balance, but ultimately I'd rather be in my safe place. But having to stay home, I definitely feel the extrovert side of me coming out. I miss other adults and conversation. So I am looking forward to everything going back to normal. God willing, everything and everyone stays safe and we survive this together. I do not have any glass stove cleaner, so I am using this Dawn Power Wash. This stuff is amazing. Um, I made some grits this morning. I made a big old country breakfast for everybody, and the grits always spill over. So I've just let this sit for a little bit, and I will also put this in the sink. Um, I just let it sit on there because I love the way it smells and it really does get anything off of there. I also like to use it whenever I have baked on stuff on my casserole dishes. It works so well, so I definitely recommend it. Um, I've got mine from Target. I'm gonna finish wiping down the counters. I used my Guardsman Granite and Stone Cleaner. It's my favorite. I mention it all the time. I got it from Target, but I think they sell it everywhere. And then just one of my microfiber cloths I got from Marshalls. And I'm wiping down all the countertops. Everything wipes off very easily, but whatever doesn't come off, I'm using one of my plastic scrapers here. Um, I got this from Amazon and it is in my Amazon favorites. It comes with a ton of replacements. It is child friendly, so definitely recommend it and you can use it on so many things. So I'm going to scrub down my sink now with the cleaner that was set on here for a little bit, but I wanted to take a moment and talk to you guys a little bit about some really real stuff, mental health right now with us being stuck in the house. I just want to check in on everybody and make sure that you guys are doing okay. I also want to make sure you are checking in with yourself. This is not an easy time and some of us um, might be going through some financial difficulties or um, maybe your spouse is not home with you because his or her job is essential. Whatever the case may be, I just want you to check in with me or check in with yourself or a family member or a friend because it is so, so important. I feel like we are overlooking some really detrimental mental health issues that could arise with us being so isolated. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to um, be vocal about what you need right now and know that I am here for you and I'm thinking about you and you are not alone. I always say that, but I really do mean it. And you can find me on Instagram. Um, I am always thinking about you guys and I'm eternally grateful for you. So if you need someone to talk to, please just reach out. I'm here for you. I love you. And it is okay to say, Hey, this time is really, really hard. So I just wanted to let you guys know and just give you some encouragement that you're not alone. This is not easy and whatever you're going through, you don't have to do it alone. So um, I am here for you.
Here is the wedding picture for Chris and myself, and I am going to be finding a place in my bedroom to put this. So stay tuned till the end because you will be seeing me decorate my bedroom a little bit as well. More rooms are starting to come together since the renovation is pretty much done. We have some things on our checklist to take care of, like paint the bottom cabinets, put the toe kick in, finish painting baseboards, you know, the punch list. But it is definitely coming together and I'm able to finally decorate some of these spaces and which makes me so happy because you guys know if you've been here for a while, decorating and DIYs make me so, so happy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm obsessed with cleaning, but to see a space come together makes my heart so happy. This mirror has been in the garage for so long and I'm gonna vacuum all of the sawdust off of it. Our carpenter actually was cutting some of the um, wood for the cabinets in the garage. Don't ask me why and sawdust went everywhere, but I'm happy to get this back up. I purchased this as a gift to myself last birthday and I love it. And then I'm taking this glass jar here. It's got a little bit of an aqua tint to it. I got it from Home Goods, I think for $12. And I'm gonna take these long stem magnolias that I purchased from Hobby Lobby quite some time ago when I actually did this room. If y'all have been here for a while, y'all remember when I completely made over this, what used to be called the front room. Um, which was also the kids playroom, but I'm able to pull these back out, which makes me thrilled because I love my magnolias and I love long stem ones. So I'm putting all of this together, but I have to wipe it all off um, because it is also covered with salt dust. So I feel like this, I could have add, uh, I could have asked for them to do it white, for like really white. I love it, but I think I'm gonna do it just a little bit whiter with some chalk paint. We have a very small laundry room, so I've got to sit my behind down and sort these clothes. I'm also gonna show you a creative way to store some of your cleaning products, and I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, you may hear me scream, so be prepared. When you hear that, don't be alarmed. I purchased these dispensers, beverage dispensers from Walmart. I think they were five or six dollars each. I used them for my detergent and my softener, but it just didn't work well. So I'm going to put my bleach in one and my floor cleaner in the other. Isn't it time we go our separate ways? Not enough time, not enough time. I'm falling behind, falling behind. I hate to separate my body. I got it. 
It's gonna be smelling good in here. I guess what I'm gonna. The thing. Yes, it was open. Surprise. Moving into my bedroom after I cleaned up that mess and yes, my laundry room was smelling really, really good. Um, I went ahead and cleaned the floor while I was at it. I'm going to put the duvet back on my bed. This is one of one of many tasks I despise. I don't like it. I love the feel of the duvet and I love everything about it except putting it back on my bed. It is a giant pain in the butt. I have seen a way to do it and honestly I was being too lazy I didn't want to grab my phone to find the little trick that I saw because let me tell you if I grab my phone that is it I am done I will go on to Instagram to find the saved little post and I will be there for 30 minutes wasting time scrolling endlessly and let's just be honest it is so bad <laughs> It's so bad, you guys. So I keep my phone far away from me when I am trying to get things done. So there was no cool little duvet hack today. I will try to add that in my next video though. This little wall thing decor, I got this from Home Goods probably three years ago, and it used to be in our dining room um, where the banquette seating was. I have been trying to find a place in the house to put it. This wall is kind of awkward, and I don't really know what to do with it. We had our wedding picture here, the one I showed you earlier, but it was so small for the wall, so I wanted to hang this square piece and then the picture on top of it kind of giving it a layered look but I did not show it in the um, clip it did not look good at all so I will have to put that on another wall I was thinking maybe a wreath but I don't want to go to farmhouse it's not really too much of my vibe I mean I like a little farmhouse but if you have some suggestions of what would look good on that decor piece please let me know in the comments below again I am not against farmhouse I love farmhouse but sometimes when you see like those wall decor pieces and a wreath on top of it, it screams farmhouse. And I, I don't like a lot of clutter. So let me know what a minimalist thing you would do for that spot. We ran out of trash bags, so I was trying to shove everything I possibly could in this one bag and it started to rip. So I'm just gonna make a little pile here to send to the Goodwill. And then I'm gonna put away some clothes. Before I am done with my cleaning, I wanna try to tidy up my closet a little bit. I am gonna be doing a deep, deep, deep closet declutter very soon because Chris said to me, we need more hangers. And I said, no, we need to get rid of clothes. I'm not gonna buy more hangers. So he and I both are gonna be doing some serious purging soon. Right 
I clean both mine and Chris's vanity areas and I use the same cleaner I use in the kitchen in Windex for the mirrors or any windows. It's my favorite. It's my ride or die and I will always use it. Um, and I'm just going to wipe everything down. I'm also going to wipe down the tub, the kids primarily, actually 100% of the time. Um, take a bath in here. It's just easiest for us. Um, the older kids take a bath in their own bathrooms, but our little ones are in here. And that way it's like an assembly line. We can just boom, 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 get them in and get them out. Um, and then if I'm being super fun and super lazy, I will fill it up, throw a bath bomb in there and pretend it is an indoor swimming pool. These days we are doing whatever we can do to buy time. I'm going to clean this toilet up. It looks nastier than it really is. Um, Florida has the worst hard water ever, um, so it looks pretty gross, but we're not just disgusting. I don't know, but I'm using my Clorox toilet wand. I love this thing. I mean, I was stuck to the old school toilet bowl cleaner wand thingy but i jumped on the bandwagon for this thing and it is a game changer i would highly recommend it and i'm using good old-fashioned clorox wipes to wipe everything down um for me right now with all the craziness um this is not the time this is not the time for anything natural i'm gonna spray it with anything that will kill anything at this point i am trying to have my house free of any germs I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you I will say that I do definitely still use all of my essential oils. You guys know I love my Young Living oils. I still diffuse them regularly and I clean with them regularly. But when I'm doing a deep clean, I'm going to use something a little bit stronger. Um, for me, I like to use the strong stuff um, once a day. And then throughout the day, I can use my Thieves cleaner for the countertops and whatnot. Does anybody else have a ton of costumes from your boys or your girls? I feel like we keep accumulating costumes and let me tell you something, robbers and burglars need to be scared because I've got Batman, Spider-Man, um, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man, I'm not sure if I mentioned him, living in my house right now. So y'all, I don't need, I don't need firearms. I've got superheroes all day long. Can we just take a moment to admire that fireplace it is on? It's got three settings. It has got this multiple orange and blue color for any of you Gator fans out there. My husband is a huge Gator fan and he loves this setting, of course. And then it's got blue and orange. It does um, put some heat out, but we do not turn that section on. I meant to buy one that has no heat, but I guess how I was just so excited. I just pressed by now and didn't realize. So because of the uh, proximity it is to the entertainment center, I cannot have heat on with it, but that is okay because I didn't want the heat. I just wanted it to be look pretty. Brain, 
So time for wardrobe change. I put on my jammies, washed off my makeup and decided I was done with the cleaning video, but I was like, no, <laughs> I see little pieces of chewed up bark from Hazel um, being outside in the mulch. So I decided to go ahead and clean this up real quick. And then of course that just fed into the rest of the house. So I'm gonna go through the rest of the house with my Dyson here. Um, I use this on a regular daily basis. And then if I wanna deep clean, I will go to the water vacuum, which I love as well. This runner is always moving all over the place and in uh, the last kitchen or before we renovated I had tile floors so I would just hot glue my rugs down it was no big deal but now that will not work on this vinyl flooring so do you guys have any recommendations on um, your carpet or rugs for them not to move. I did have some command strips down the velcro ones but Hazel thought it was her personal um, Little activity center and so she spent a good portion of her time Ripping them all up. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions for your runner and rugs not to slide all over your floor Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching today's video. Will you leave a heart emoji in the comments below and let me know that you guys are still here. It means the world to me. Um, being here is such a pleasure and having you guys here for all your support and your love just means so much to me. Um, I, or we just reached 40,000 subscribers and I literally cried and I just want to stop and take a moment and just say thank you to each and every one of you. Um, if you guys are watching and you haven't yet subscribed, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button before you go any further. Please, please, please check out Brittany's channel. I love her. You will too. She is a light in this world and she makes me want to be better. So please go check her out. Let her know that Lynn sent you. And for all of you here today, I appreciate you and I love you and I hope you all are well. I will see you in the next video. Bye.